Hey guys, for start, today I want to look at can we write an equation in point slope form given the graph? Now remember the two pieces of information we need. We need an ordered pair and a slope. So again, it just comes down to identifying those two pieces of information uh, and then building our equation. So again, for every, every graph, we're going to be looking for the slope and an ordered pair. Now in order to find slope from a graph, you're going to need two ordered pairs at, uh, anyway. So uh, we can go ahead, when we get started here, we're going to identify two ordered pairs, and then we'll kind of see how things work out from there. So let's take a look at our first graph here. Again, we need a slope and, uh, and an ordered pair. But again, in order to find slope, we need two ordered pairs. So let's find two. So we're going to travel down our line or up our line, however it makes sense to you. I like to start and just run my finger until I find an ordered pair that I'm like, my line hits exactly here. And if you look, it actually hits directly there at three comma one. Now again, I'm gonna have to find the slope here, so let's find another one. Keep traveling, keep traveling, ooh, right here. And that's at the point two comma negative three. So the nice part about that is I, I know I'm going to need to find slope by using rise and run. Uh, and now I have kind of my choice of ordered pairs that I can use to build my equation. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. So we need to find our slope by using rise and run. So I always like to start at my bottom ordered pair. We're going to write m equals for our slope. And let's rise. One, two, three, four. So my rise was four. And my run is positive 1. They were both positive movements. Remember, we can rewrite this as just the whole number 4, anything over 1. Good. Now we need an ordered pair. Well, great. We have two identified. So we're actually ready to start building our equation. Well, let's see. I'm going to use this top guy right here, 3 comma 1. And we'll kind of go from there. Remember, this is your x value. This is your y value. Um, for our case, this is going to be x sub 1 and y sub 1. You could also use this ordered pair down here, and you would get a get a, a different looking equation. However, it would represent the same line, uh, which is kind of the cool thing about point slope form. So let's let's start building our equation. Well, y looks like minus my y one is going to be one equals my slope, which is four times the quantity of x minus three. And there actually is a little bit of strategy in pitch, picking which ordered pair uh, you're going to use because notice there's nothing extra I have to do here as far as like creating plus signs because I have a double negative or anything like that. Um, but just for argument's sake, for this example only, let's use the other ordered pair and see what that does. Well, again, we would start the same y minus, let's see, my y value is negative three equals 4 times the quantity of x minus 2, right? So again, this is the same line, same relationship, uh, just going to look a little different because we used a different ordered pair. Now, uh, notice I have some cleaning, cleaning up to do here. Uh, those double negatives would become a plus, so this would be y plus 3 equals 4 times the quantity of x minus 2. So the neat part about this is actually both of these answers would be 100% correct. Uh, and you're like, well, Mr. Starr, they're different. How, how in the world you know, can they both be correct? Well, it turns out if you would actually distribute these and turn them into slope-intercept form, you would actually see that they're the same exact equation uh, if you just kind of simplify things a little bit and you solve for y. Okay? Last example that I have for you today, again, identify two ordered pairs so that we can find the slope. Well, look at our line. Here's one. That's the ordered pair one, two, three, four left. So that would be negative four comma two. And travel down our line looking for an ordered pair. Ah, oh, it looks like right here is another one. That would be the ordered pair one, two, three, negative one. Good. Now, using rise and run, I can find my ordered pair, or my slope, rather. 
Uh, so go ahead and write that slope. And now let's rise. I always like to go up, so I'm going to start at my bottom point. So it's going to be one, two, three. My rise was positive three. So my numerator can be three over my run. But notice I'm running to the left. So this is going to be a negative movement. I'm going to go left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven over negative seven. Now, just to kind of clean things up, I always like to write that negative out in front. I think it's just the cleanest looking fraction. Good. Now we have an ordered pair. Uh, we can take our pick here. Notice there's no real advantage because uh, they both have negatives involved in them. So we're going to kind of have to do some of this kind of simplifying uh, no matter what here. But let's just pick one and get going here. Let's stop. Let, let's use this top one here. Y minus my Y value is 2 equals negative 3 sevenths times the quantity of X minus my X value is negative 4. Good. Notice I have a double negative sign here. I want to clean that up before I submit my final answer. Y minus 2 equals negative 3 sevenths times the quantity of x plus 4. And hopefully you find yourself getting to the point where you actually don't have to write that out anymore. You're just like, well, it's negative, so I know it's going to be plus. That's kind of the end goal in all of this. Um, so down here would be your final answer after we kind of clean things up. And that's just a quick overview of how we grant or how we write an equation in point slope form given the graph. That's all I have for you today in this one, guys. We'll talk to you in the next one.